Hello, I'm Amir. I wanted to make an educational PowerPoint for you guys today about a subject that I am somewhat passionate about. So um, hopefully you guys learn something today. I wrote, I made it on the T. I wrote, hi, uh, I'm Amir. I like trains. So I did my PowerPoint on the T. Um, enjoy. Okay, so we'll go history first. Um, you see that map on the top right? That is the map of the Boston streetcar system in 1886. Um, so you see all the lines are different. Isn't that pretty cool? Um, back then they had streetcars, so think of the green line, but everywhere. <laughs> um, and back then there was like barely any cars on the street. So it was like just people walking on the roads. Um, I think I wrote that in the thing. Uh, mostly to get around the city, people would walk or take a streetcar. That's why you see the map is much more like extensive than it is today. Um, okay, so actually Boston still has streetcars. So I, I put two of them right next to each other, the two uh, active lines, that's the green line and the Mattapan trolley on the red line. Um, you should guys should um, ride the Mattapan trolley because it looks like it's from the uh, early 1900s, even though it is a modern train being used in 2021. Um, and the E-line on the left, the um, end of the E-line actually goes right on the road with no grade separation. So um, you can like drive over it just like normal, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, and then subway. Let's put, how about we put streetcars, but underground. <laughs> Isn't that an interesting idea? Um, well, in 1897, that happened when Boylston Station opened up. You guys might have uh, gone here before guys um, have ever gone to the park, Boston Common, um, this is where Boylston is. Um, so after that became quite popular, so underground light rail became a staple in Boston. Um, and I just want to, for my next slide, I just want to have you all keep in mind that the, uh, the government's not the one um, making these trains uh, back then or these lines, it's private companies. Um, but the private companies, uh, people started driving cars. So all these companies went out of business. Um, eventually, the state of Massachusetts wanting these uh, um, public transit systems not to go away, um, purchased all the remaining um, subway, bus, and streetcar companies and created the MTA called the Metropolitan Transit Authority. Um, this might be a terrible name, which I'm glad they changed because this is the exact same name as in New York. So imagine people's confusion. So they renamed it the MBTA in 1964, which is the Massachusetts Bay Transit Authority. Uh, okay. So graphic design in 1965, I, I, I read a great uh, article about this. Um, the, uh, there's a design firm that had to color all the lines because all the trains back then were just brown. <laughs> um, yeah, so they <laughs> color coded all the systems. You guys are gonna learn about the colors later. Um, they also changed the logo, um, which this was the logo before. Um, the new logo is a T in a circle. Um, they may have copied this from Stockholm, but uh, they changed the color and they made uh, it a little bit shorter. So it's pretty good. Like, can you show the old logo again? I didn't see that. Yeah, this is the old logo. It's nice. Oh, right? with like the busy map. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's also, a right. I agree. Um, <laughs> so new logo, T in a circle. It, it's simple and it works. And it's great for signs because you can just have the big T in a circle um, on a sign and people can recognize it from like miles away. Um, but enough history. We're done with the history for this section until the trivia slide. So let's get to the lines. Um, I'm going to start with the red line here. Um, the reason it's red was because of Harvard. Um, their, their main color is crimson, which is a reddish color. Um, this line goes to Dorchester in the south and Quincy also in the south. Um, but it also goes north all the way up to Cambridge. Um, the northern terminus is at a station called Alewife. Um, and there's two southern um, terminuses, so it turns into like a fork at the end. Um, one of them goes to Mattapan, called in Mattapan, Boston, and Braintree, which is in the city of Braintree. I'm sorry, the town of Braintree. And you can see MGH. Yes, you can see Charles MGH is on the line. 
you can touch your yes you can touch your american <laughs> dream um so actually the southern terminus you might hear in stations say calling it ashmont that's because um as we saw before on sorry this slide um matapan's section of the red line is a trolley so it's kind of a circle kind of um separate um yeah so stations between matapan and ashmont are part of matapan trolley which is a streetcar system just like the green line but you have you can't stay on the same train you need to switch trains so so here's like a signage of what a red line uh, sign would look like and you could see the uh, whole map of the system it turns into like a fork at the end so if you're going um, towards the south, you need to take an Ashmont or a Braintree train. Anyone have a question so far? I look forks. That's good. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I had a question. Okay, great. So people What's say that? trains, like, you know, when you have model trains like that are tra like, you know, toys, they go round and round. They do that in real life, right? Like, um, there's a loop at the end. The there's a loop at the uh, terminus station, so it does like go around and around so it literally goes on the track the opposite way to get to the first station no there's a there's a loop well yeah it does there's a loop so it does oh it's like a Did everybody know that i think that's so cool because i've always wondered if they end there how do they get there so um now i know yeah you might want to take a look at the end of the green line it's the easiest place to see it happen all the loops at the end of this four um, stop, the five terminuses. Um, so there's the signage again, we're going to the orange line. So um, according to the, the article I read, um, orange was the color that was left over. Um, so there's no reason that it's orange. Oh. Um, so they were actually gonna plan on doing yellow first, but they realized that yellow doesn't look great on white. So they picked orange instead. Um, and this is the only line that goes into like the southwestern part of the city. So that's like Roxbury and Jamaica Plain. But it also goes all the way up north to Malden. So the northern terminus is Oak Grove, um, which is in Malden. And the southern terminus is in Forest Hills, which is in Jamaica Plain in Boston. And it's actually a straight line. So there's no fork like the red line or the octopus like the green line. Um, and the orange line today is actually pretty new. It was an elevated railway for most of its existence, but people complained about the noises, so they made it all underground mostly. Um, but you might be asking, did anyone wonder what I meant when I said elevated railway before? Yes. <laughs> Is it I know I did. One, the one that goes over the Charles? Uh, not, not quite. So this is a picture of an elevated railway. This is actually um, an, a mere trivia. This is uh, my, my hometown, Astoria, New York, right here. Um, so the New York City subway um, actually in parts of Queens goes above the city level. So there's like an, an elevated railway. See, this is what it looks like. And, it, and I will agree, it is somewhat noisy. Um, and it's a, little ner it's a little scary when the train stops and you, you hear that, but I thought it was part of the charm of growing up in Astorias. Um, yeah, this it is what a typical signage at uh, Orange Line Station looks like. So I'm sure many of you have been to this one, Ruggles, um, in the southern part of campus, I guess. Oh, the Blue Line. Oh, this one's my favorite, personally. Because uh, look at the trains. I, In my opinion, they don't have the newest trains. They're, these trains are from 2009, but I think they have the nicest trains. Um, so it's blue because it crosses through Boston Harbor, which is water, which is blue. Um, it's the only line that goes um, up to the northeastern part of the city and the uh, surrounding town. So it goes up to Revere and East Boston. Northern Terminus is at Wonderland, which is my favorite name of any of these terminuses, uh, which is in Revere. And Southern Terminus is at Bowdoin in ba downtown Boston. I thought it was Bowdoin before, but then I went to a station and I heard them say Bowdoin. Um, and also that station kind of doesn't need to exist because government center is about two blocks away. Um, but that's fine. Um, the entire line is only 20 minutes long from one end to the other. So it's definitely the shortest line by far. And this is what, and, and you can even see that from the map, you can probably make out all of these uh, names, which you couldn't for like the green line, for example. But this is typical signage for a uh, blue line station. Um, moving on, the green line. Um, it's a sign green because it passes through the emerald necklace, which is a collection of parks. 
Um, it's actually a light rail system, which is, um, some people say that's a synonym for streetcar, but not quite. It's, it's pretty close. Um, there's four different branches and it runs on the street for most of the way. Northern Terminus is in Cambridge at Lechmere, but it's soon going to be extended up to uh, Somerville and Medford. And Western Terminus is at Boston College in Newton, Cleveland Circle in Brighton, Riverside in Newton, and Heat Street in Mission Hill. And it has uh, B, C, D, and E as the uh, lines because there's quite a bit of stations. Also, uh, a majority of the stations and the entire system belong to the Green Line. Um, so you can see there, it looks like a USB icon, right, the map? Um, <laughs> this is a typical signage at a uh, Green Line station. And the stations for the Green Line are kind of loose because they're not very usually buildings. But yeah, this is Northeastern Station. I'm sure the majority of you in this call have been on this at, least one, um, at the station at least once. Silver Line. Um, Wait, I have a question. Yes. Why isn't there an A line? We'll get to that at the end. <gasps> Good question. Um, <laughs> Silver Line. So Silver Line, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of it. So uh, <laughs> I'm not going to talk too much about it, but it's buses. Um, some of the buses run in tunnels, which is interesting idea. I, I think that's kind of like laziness. Like they built the tunnels, but they didn't want to build the train line in there. So, <laughs> so the buses run in the tunnels. It's an interesting situation. Um, here's the station and you can see the map here. I, uh, this is the only part of the T I don't understand how to use properly. That's why I put the question marks there, but yeah. Um, but then there's even more that the MBTA does. Um, there's a commuter rail system. It's very, very extensive. It goes all the way to Rhode Island. At some point you can go on the commuter rail from Boston to Providence, which is pretty cool. They have a very, very large bus system has 170 routes, I believe. And, even goes to uh, Cape Cod if you take another train called the Cape Flyer. Um, I put a picture of the Cape Flyer there. And there's also some ferries that you can uh, take. Okay, okay, fun facts. I should have separated these, but uh, Green Line, <laughs> I, I realize a lot of people don't know this, but if you're gonna go to any stop that's above ground west of Copley, you need to ring the little bell there. So just keep that in mind. If you want to get off at Northeastern, you need to click the bell or hope someone else did. Um, you can't directly go from the red to blue lines. If you want to, you need to stop at uh, either the green or orange lines to connect. Um, this is about payments. Like a lot of people don't know that if you go from the bus to the subway, um, you're only paying the difference, like 70 cents between the tickets. And if you go from the subway to the bus, it's free within two hours. And okay, why are there a B, C, D, and E, but no A? Um, the A had the lowest ridership, so they turned it into a bus route um, around 30 or 40 years ago. Um, and the Green Line E also had a missing portion of it. So after Heath Street, it used to go to Arbor Way, which is right next to Forest Hills. But um, during construction of that line, it got permanently removed because they didn't want to deal with it anymore. <laughs> uh, I think I have another slide. Do I? Oh yeah, any questions? Aww. Uh, no what questions? line do you think smells the most? <laughs> um, I don't think lines can smell. The worst? Oh the my worst. God. The, the both. The like, both. Because really I have the answer to both. I would say the red. No! Well, sometimes. <laughs> so what do you think? Well, okay, so the bus smells the worst because of the congestion. Oh, I didn't know that was counted. Well, yeah. Oh, it's oh wait, is it bus or silver line? The S line, bitch. It's not the silver. <laughs> is it the S line or is it the silver line? <laughs> it's the silver line. Yeah. Okay. So the silver line. Um, yeah. Also, the S line would be the slime. And then... Um, what was your question about the, uh, the silver line? <laughs> Oh, I just said, can we, if you're really like hype with Boston, can you start calling the silver line the S line? Like, where are you going? Slime. I'm just going to the Harvard Yard <laughs> on the S line. I don't um, know how to do that. Can you even go there? No, you can't go there. Yeah. The silver line. Harvard, Harvard's in the red line, right? Yeah, you can see yeah, that's why it was named Mouse of Red. Um, Harvard is right, you see my mouse, right? Right here. Yeah. So that's pretty far from the silver line. But. Okay, I know, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> say the S line as a vernacular if you're, like, truly Bostonian. Do, do Bostonians do that? 
<laughs> I'm asking you. You're from Boston. Expert. I'm not from Boston. I'm from <laughs> New York. But uh, maybe. I don't feel like anyone's riding the silver line except people getting. Yeah. Like yeah leaving the airport. The airport. Le- leaving, like, Johnny said it. I'm going to the car park on the S <laughs> line. That's, um, that's not what they that's sound faster like. faster than the silver line, at least. <laughs> something that's that anti Boston X racism. <laughs> Tom Brady's um, not <laughs> I think I think um, if you live in Seaport, you're probably going to use the Silver Line a lot. So uh, I have a question. Yeah, what's up? I know the answer to this question, but I'm gonna see if you do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do you know the story between why it's called the Charlie Card? I don't actually. So yeah. essentially, like the MTA was proposing like an exit fee on like uh, trains. So like you had to like pay to get in, then you also have to pay to get out. Which was a problem because people wouldn't have enough money and like, really couldn't get out of the train. That's so, actually hilarious. It's called Charlie on the MTA. It's basically a guy named Charlie who could never leave the MTA. And in that song, they 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 named Charlie Card after him. Okay, excellent. Thank you. 